Uh, Jacob Prash says, you have joined John MacArthur, the John MacArthur cheerleaders, as he and Todd Friel help, help set the stage for the Antichrist. And there you go. In other words, Justin, you have joined the Phil Johnson stable of religious hypocrites, not as a battle steed for truth, but as a jackass for error. That's sweet. Uh, you allow Phil Johnson, now this gets me, this gets me. You allow Phil Johnson to use you as a marketing showpiece exploiting your handicap. Um, <laughs> Phil Johnson and I have been friends, I don't know, um, 12 or so years, I, I guess, something along those lines. Uh, okay, friends, I'm, I'm not one, if you know me at all, anything beyond knowing my name, you know that I am not one to pull the crippled card. I'm not one of these evangelists that goes around with his sob story about how life was so hard because he was crippled and the dog hated him and you know all this kind of stuff. Woe is me. No. Uh, I accept my handicap as God's good and kind providence in my life. Uh, I don't make a big deal out of it. In fact, if, if I talk about my handicap, nine times out of ten, it's in some kind of a funny, self-deprecating sort of a way to kind of put people at ease. I call myself cripple, little white cripple boy all the time, just to, at any rate. Um, but my goodness, to suggest to me that Phil Johnson or anyone for that matter is using me as a marketing showpiece exploiting my handicap, uh, I, <laughs> talk about condescending. Talk about insulting. Uh, I, I responded to um, Jacob, and I, I, I basically said, my legs are crippled. My mind isn't. I think I would know if I was being exploited as a marketing showpiece for my handicap. Not only is that an insult to me, it's, it, it's an insult to me. It's an insult to Phil Johnson. I actually showed that to Phil Johnson, and Phil Johnson quipped. He responded. He said, he said, uh, he said, what did, did he catch me hitching a ride on your motorized wheelchair or something? You know, I mean, it, 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 ludicrous. I mean, it just it, insanity, absolute insanity, but it, it's a, what an insult. And then he says, I too am legally handicapped. So, um, Jacob Prash was not born handicapped he, in the last several years, I guess he's, he's developed a lymphatic edema, edema, as he said, um, got a lot of fluid retention in is my hey I get that I've got that in my own feet and legs I have to wear special shoes because my in compression socks because my feet and lower legs swell up like balloons uh, but you know what uh, I, I don't know what angle he's going with that I'm not impressed with him I mean he walks without crutches he was not born handicapped I was so I uh, don't try pulling that card with me uh, anyway, just as they use Doreen Virtue's allegedly former New Age credentials, such promotional strategy befits Copeland. So I guess we're all like, Bill Johnson's like Kenneth Copeland. All right. Uh, and then he says, why don't you repent and revert to allowing God to use you again? In the longer run, you won't regret it. If you continue with the hypocrisy and dishonesty of unjust weights that God calls abominable, you most certainly shall. Uh, sincerely in Christ, <laughs> Jacob Brash. Okay, so um, that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of, of, of what we're dealing with with Jacob Prash. Jacob Prash, and I'm not, okay, this is not gossip. You can go on YouTube, you can see videos of Jacob Prash, and he, he very obviously has a serious anger issue. This is a stupid, stupid woman. If I'm offending you, there's no euphemism for that kind of stupidity. She has no intellect. Either you are an ignoramus or you are a liar, Todd Friel. And that's not just my observation. There are actually clips of him when he admits to that, having anger issues. And he says that's why he's not a pastor, uh, because he's he, he has anger issues. And it's very obvious that he does when you watch some clips of him. Verse 7, above reproach as God's steward, not self-willed, not quick-tempered. That's one thing I struggle with terribly. I can get pretty angry sometimes. Fortunately, the ministry God has called me to was not pastoral. I couldn't handle the sheep. Uh, if you have anger issues, if you have an issue of, of controlling your anger, 
uh, then you shouldn't be in ministry. You're not biblically qualified uh, to be an elder. You should not be in a position of spiritual leadership if you can't control your temper. And Jacob Prash even admits that he cannot do that.